knew the other family too. And they're not here. Like if you go, oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, her family's missing. Welcome to episode 99 of the royal family. I'm so excited to jump into this you guys We are one episode away from our 100th episode. So it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited Okay, so let's jump into this because today in this episode We are going to be focusing and playing from a different point of view We're gonna be focusing on the royal family of Brindleton Bay So as you can see we are already here at the Brindleton Bay Palace also guys It looks like their dog so they got this dog cinnamon a long time ago Like I'm surprised cinnamon's still alive to be completely honest because they got this dog what oh it looks like she's an elder though and it also looks like she's uncomfortable so we should probably take care of her um but they got cinnamon like before i think the boys were born or like when they were born maybe so yeah they got them a long time ago but it looks like cinnamon had puppies so they have two puppies Chiral and Noodle, that the game definitely named them, but I still think they're really cute, you guys. So the Brindle and Bay, they love the animals, they love dogs, so I think it's really cute. I, someone did want us to have the other royal families to get dogs too. It's just that pets, or pets in general, they just take up space in the family, that's the only thing. So especially with like big families, it's a little bit hard, but we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll, th we'll think of something. We'll probably have some of the families getting pets and everything too. But as I'm filming this also, the I, I have not even posted the episode 96, 97, or 98 of the royal family. So I am doing all of my recordings in one day. So I apologize for any comments that I'm not getting to, but I hopefully will have already like replied to them um, and told you guys if, I, if I'm doing something. I'm hopefully like hitting most of the comments. One thing I did want to talk about is the, oh God, what is wrong with Johan's arms? That's definitely, I feel like a glitch probably. I don't know, that just looks really, really weird, or maybe the animation was really bad on that. But someone did mention that uh, there's a family tree app or website called like Plum Bob Tree, and there was something else that they had recommended another website. So I will start working on those trees. The only thing is that like, I could have the name, but it doesn't have like their picture. And I like in The Sims that you can have like their picture, but I, I know you guys probably want to also have access to the family tree. So that would probably be a good way to do it. It's gonna take a really long time, you guys. I don't know how long that's gonna take me, but it's gonna take a while. So hopefully I'll get it done soon, but I will work on that. Okay, so in this episode, as I mentioned, oh, it looks like Jared and Nina both need to go to work. So both of you guys go to work. So I do want to focus on them. One, because Johan, so they are going to invite over Princess uh, Anna's family because they uh, they need Johan to like see who he clicks with and see if any of the girls get along with him. I think Jared's pretty open. Like obviously he feels the need to to abide by his contract with King J King George who helped him like found Brindleton Bay. And that was his like payback or his payback, his, his payment, I guess, is to have one of the King Jared's heir to marry one of King George's grandchildren. So the only grandchildren left are Princess Anna's daughters. So of course, King Jared though, he like feels bad that he has to like do this to his son, but he's hoping his son will get along with one of them and fall in love with one of them. So we'll have to see how this goes. Also because long time ago, many episodes ago, Prince James, he was having a thing. Well, first of all, he they his parents wanted him to get with Lady Tina, who is right here, um, which he still has a romantic relationship with. But then if you guys saw a few episodes ago, he actually has a thing with Lord Ian, and they're still a thing. They're a pretty strong thing. They've been dating for a while, but they've been kind of like the romantic relationship isn't very strong because they've kind of been trying to keep at bay for a while. But I feel like his parents, like he's been a young adult for a while now, Prince James has. So I feel like his parents are like, when are you gonna get married? Like we want grandchildren soon. So I think Prince James might come out to his parents in this episode. We'll have to see, cause I do have the coming out mod or the, yeah, the coming out mod. Um, so I will see, we'll see how this goes. I know I'm gonna get questions about if they're going to adopt. I don't know yet, guys. I don't know if they would even want kids. Maybe they want kids though. And maybe they do want to adopt. Maybe uh, like they'll end up having to adopt like a relative. Cause I don't know, I feel weird adopting a random child and like bringing a random child in because just keeping like noble and royal bloodlines, but they would just be noble. So I think it's fine. It's not like a prince or, or heir to the throne is adopting. So I feel like it's a little bit different. 
Um, so we'll just have to see. So Johan is feeling super flirty right now, you guys. So I think we are going to have them invite over Princess Anna and her children. Oh, you know what? Before I invite them over, I should probably, ooh, pristine reputation. Okay. Um, I should probably have James come out to both of his parents, I think, because I, I would rather do this now before people come over. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm going to have him like sit. Do they have a, wait, do they have a dining room? Oh, they do. Okay. It's a, very small dining room. I'm probably gonna have to fix that, but let's just have him sit down with his parents. I've never, I, so I don't know if Sims react differently when you come out to them. I'm kind of interested to see. Okay, so he is sitting both of his parents down, guys. So we're gonna do this mod. So I, okay, so let's come out as gay to both of them. I've never seen them react, but guys, this is a big deal to him. I mean, like this is, he's been hiding this for a really long time. I feel like his brother already knows, so it's just kind of his parents that are, are left to find out. So we'll see. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, wait. You're supposed to tell them like right here. Okay, are you telling her first? Okay, oh, wait, was the hug him telling her or? Okay, I think he's telling her now and she's listening and being pretty understanding. And she took it well, you guys, oh good, okay. So now you gotta tell your father. Although he probably heard it. I mean, he was right there the entire time. It'd be very weird if he didn't hear that. So I think he's gonna tell his father now. And his father seems okay with it. I, th I think? Wait, uh, wait, 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 guys. Wait, was that, wait, no. I think that was a good thing. That was a, I've never seen that reaction before. I think he, yeah, okay, well, he's happy. Yeah, it says came out and to someone and it feels so good. And so I, I think all is good, guys. Okay, so now his parents know. So I feel like he's telling them about Sean right now. So, or Lord Ian, I'm sorry, Lord Ian. Um, so he's telling them about him right now. I think they're discussing like, okay, well, like let's have him over sometime so we can meet him and get to know him. Cause I feel like they've kind of met him before but not like in that way before. So he's told them things are going well. He's walking away now. So I think oh, all is good, guys. So that's good. So they're gonna also have to tell uh, Lady Tina's parents that the engagement is off because that yeah that that's a thing. So um so they'll they'll worry about that a little bit later. But I did want him to like finally do that. Um so that's good. I'm gl I'm glad he finally did. Okay. So yay guys, I'm glad that went so well. So we'll focus on Prince James again in another episode. But for now, we are going to focus on Prince Johan. We're going to have King Jared invite over Princess Anna his entire family like uh, like lord marshall and all three of his daughters and everything so let's do that we'll do a dinner party okay so all of them are hosting and then the guests are going to be where did they go okay so lady ezra that's the oldest daughter lady sadir is the youngest uh marky marshall and then lady aurora i need to change his name to uh marky marshall and not marky marsh uh, so i need to change that and then uh princess anna or marchiness anna and then so yeah all three of the daughters too so it looks like he doesn't really know lady aurora but he knows the other two girls pretty well we will hire a chef and we're going to have the dinner party here guys so it's gonna be really fun i do need to add some more chairs this is a very contemporary uh definitely contemporary table and dining room. They don't even have like their own dining room. I might change that. Wait, we're gonna need more tables and chairs, aren't we? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, we now have enough tables. Oh, I didn't add a centerpiece for them. Ah, uh, okay, well, no, that's okay. We, we don't need to worry about that. Also guys, I found out this is called live mode and not live mode. I found, I think I found that out on Twitter and I had no idea and I was like, wait, what? I always call it live mode, but apparently it's live mode. So I did not know that. Um, so anyway, okay. So guys, we have invited them over. I do need to up everyone's needs because I don't want anyone to be like cranky while they're here. So Phil needs, so this is our chance to see. Oh, also before I forget, this is, I'm sorry. This is like, I, I have to say things as I think of them. Queen Nea is pregnant again. So we'll be informed when she has her child. Um, I hope I'm not skipping over too many things for you guys. Like, I feel like I know these episodes are kind of being a little bit rushed and I think it's just because I'm so excited. Oh, okay. So Johan, you need to introduce yourself to Lady Aurora. So he hasn't actually met Lady Aurora yet. So you need to introduce yourself to everyone. So this is Princess Anna, although you should know Princess Anna, um, but that's okay. Okay, so introduce yourself to Princess Anna. So everyone, as they come in, it looks like it's raining too. But yeah, Queen A is pregnant again. I, I hope I'm not rushing too much into things uh, with everything because I, ooh, wait. Oh, you can do a flirty introduction? <gasps> Let's do that. Oh, so Sadira. Wait, Sadira's a teenager. Why can you do a flirty introduction with her? Oh, okay. 
She's still a teenager, but she should be turning into a young adult like any day now. So I feel like it's fine. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, I hope I'm not rushing into like too much of the story with you guys. I know I was just, I'm so excited for the 100th episode. So I know I haven't been like focusing too much on like storylines or like going to actually see kids and everyone aging up. But I also didn't know if you wanted to see that. I realized it was like taking a lot of time or like going to see kids being born when they could just tell us that a kid's being born. But I know you guys also didn't get to see that. But let me know what you guys prefer if you want to like actually see it. I know we haven't had anyone get married in a while, but we will. I don't I don't think there's anyone to get married at, at this point. So it looks like they're getting pretty comfy. Johan is talking to Lady Aurora right now. And we should also make sure that they are talking to everybody too, because we want to make sure his parents get along with whoever he ends up with. And it looks like the chef is making some food food. Oh, look, it's like Lady Ezra like came in to talk to the chef and kind of like, I don't know, maybe ask if she needed help or something <laughs> or say like, thank you for making us dinner. They're all beautiful, you guys. But basically the goal of this is to see who Johan gets along with. It's not going to count. He's not really, we're not going, oh my God, what is that dog doing? Um, okay, you need to not do that. All right, uh, uh, guys, I didn't know dogs could do that. Like ruin the floor. Um, you should probably, uh, make him stop doing that. Okay, so basically the goal is to see who Johan gets with, like, friendliness the most. Because I, like, Princess Sadira, or Lady Sadira, she is a teenager still, so technically we can't really see who he gets along, like, romantically with still. But she should be aging up to a young adult really, really soon. Also, it looks like their dog is sick, so we do need to take the dog cinnamon to the vet as soon as possible. Okay guys, so it looks like <laughs> Lady Ezra is just um, dancing over here in her bathing suit. I think I'm gonna change her out of her bathing suit uh, because it just seems a little bit weird. So change outfit, let's change you out of that. So I will also have Prince James, I guess go talk to her because I think Johan is talking to the other, oh wait, oh, friendly introduction. Okay, you need to introduce yourself to her. So, Johan, okay, so Johan is talking to, it looks like Lord Marshall, and it, or Marquis Marshall, and then also, is he talking to a Lady Aurora? Oh, they're upset about something, you guys, and I don't know what. It looks like he's talking to, oh, guys! Oh, look, their, their friendliness is, is gone up, like, whoa, whoa, like, so much, you guys. Like, okay, it's, it's like, pretty good with the others, too, but it seems to be going up with Sidira a lot. So that's a good sign, you guys. That's very, very good. I, I wanna see like how much she has before she ages up into a, a young adult. Oh, oh guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so she's going to age up into a young adult any day now. Should we just age her up now? I feel like we should. If he's getting along this well with Sidira, I wanna see if there's some romance going on. So let's bake her a cake, you guys. I want her to age up here because I want her to turn into a young adult and I wanna see if they do end up getting any romantic interactions because I'm just so excited, you guys. Um, it does look like he's getting along pretty well with the others too, though. But I don't know, I I, I mean, he's feeling very flirty and he was talking to Sidira a lot. And like, I know he still loves May too. So that's kind of, oh my God, guys, their, their relationship has gone up so much. Okay, so when she turns into a young adult, we will get to see like how exactly if she is, um, okay, I guess thank her for coming again. Um, but yeah, he so he doesn't really have a relationship with Lady Ezra. And Lady Aurora is a young adult. He doesn't really have, like, he, oh, he's got a better relationship with Lady Aurora. Is she dating someone though? Should I ask her if she's single? Because I don't know if she is dating anyone. Oh guys, Lady Sadira just became good friends with Johan. That was really fast. Okay, so he's asking Aurora if she's single because I don't, I don't know if she's single. So I guess we're about to find out. I mean, did you tell us if you're single? Because that's what we asked you and you didn't answer. Um, ask if single. He went back to talk to Sadira, you guys. Okay, clearly he's really into Sadira, as you guys can tell. Uh, but is it, I learned the recipe for spaghetti and strawberry cake. Oh, for a second I thought that said for spaghetti cake. And I was like, what? Are you, I'm seeing some, oh, okay. So Aurora is out. Aurora is seeing some, oh, that's interesting that they tell you that. I think that's so cool. Okay, so he's seeing, or Aurora is seeing someone. He's barely talking to Ezra. So I kind of think he's just really into Sadira, you guys, which makes me really happy because I love her a lot. So, okay, so Nina is baking the cake. So we'll get to see if Sadira age up into a young adult. Okay guys, so Nina has just baked this cake. I had a candle so no one can take it because I feel like someone totally would. Okay, so we're going to have her age up Lady Sadir or Lady Sadir is going to blow out the candles. It doesn't actually look like she had a relationship with Lady Sadir, so I need to make sure that she does. But guys, look at all this food. Okay, so we have yogurt. Oh, fruit and yogurt. Okay, well, we have cookies too. 
So maybe we should bring this all here so people can start helping themselves. Here you go, Lord Marshall. Or uh, Marquis Marshall. I keep calling him Lord Marshall. Marquis Marshall and March and Santa. So help yourself to some cookies. Okay, so Sadir's aging up into a young adult. You guys, I'm so excited. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. Oh, yay. Okay. So, oh, is this? Wait. Is this? <laughs> Guys, that's Princess Leilana's grandmother. <laughs> looks like she's their caterer for the day. It also looks like she needs to pee, so I'm going to change her and make her happy. Okay, so Sadira is a young adult. I need uh, Nina. Whoa, I just saw Lady Ezra like appear and then disappear, so that was interesting. Okay, so we're gonna have Nina do a friendly introduction to Sadira, because you should probably make sure that you know her. So yeah, guys, I guess that, yeah, because there's barely a relationship with Ezra. But he's got, uh, he's already good friends with Sadira. So I think he's gonna ask her to cloud gaze, or uh, just, I guess, stargaze, because it's 4 a.m. right now. Okay, so he, oh, okay. <laughs> he is now stargazing with Sadira. Looks like it's cold, but I did figure out how to turn off the thing to make it so weather doesn't affect your sims, which is so great, so nice. Okay, so he's stargazing with Lady Sadira, you guys. So I feel like he is talking to her, telling her about the situation. They're probably talking about like, yeah, this is kind of an awkward situation. Like they know why they're here. He knows why they're here. It is a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so I feel like he's telling her about that and they're talking about it, like how it's a little bit weird, but I feel like it's something to laugh at too. And I feel like they're just talking and I feel like she's probably asking him about Princess May and be like, so I, I'm really sorry to hear about Princess May. I like, I heard what happened. I heard that you guys were in love and and that I'm mean, their cousins too. So May and Sadira are cousins. So um, obviously like Sadira was really sad about it too, but her just saying like, I'm so sorry. Like, I know that must've been awful. And I feel like Johan just feels very comfortable right now. Like this is the first person I've actually seen him get along with so quickly. So he's feeling very flirty around her, you guys. And I feel like that's a huge sign. Obviously he still loves May, but it's been like, I feel like at this point it's been over a year since May has died. So I think he's like kind of learned to move on and all that stuff too. So I feel like he, he's starting to, he's starting to move on. I feel like he really enjoys Sidira's company. And I know that he knows that like, it's just that he wants to find someone that he's he's gonna be happy with that that makes him happy, that makes him laugh, like that makes, that it's gonna be like a good partner for him because they have to like rule Brindleton Bay together, you guys. So it's gonna be a huge thing. So he's flirting with her. I feel like he's telling her like, thank you for like talking to me. Like that was what I needed to hear about May. Like I appreciate it. And then maybe just telling her like, she looks really nice. She looks really pretty. So I, I'm excited to see if this is gonna go well, you guys. I'm kind of alternating between friendly interactions and romantic interactions. Maybe ask her about her love life. I was not even expecting to do this because I thought that she was still gonna be a teenager at this point, but she was just so close to being a young adult. I feel like we might as well just have aged her up. So I feel like it was fine. Guys, so things are going really, really well between them. So they have, they started to have now a romantic relationship. He's gonna ask her for her number. So they're gonna exchange numbers so they can talk a little bit more. I don't think we need to rush this guys. I think this is all we really needed to do with them. I, I wanted to see who he would get along with. So I don't want to rush anything because I feel like his father doesn't want, doesn't like just wants, like he knows he's put his son in a very uncomfortable situation. So he, do, he wants to make him like feel happy. He wants to make him feel like he's going at his own pace and that he's not rushing him into, into anything. We're just gonna see how this goes guys. But I am gonna end this with them here because I'm excited guys. I'm so excited for Johan. I'm excited that he's finally like feeling romance and then his mother's looking at there. Oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. Um, but his mother's like looking out the window right now. It's like, oh my God, like he's talking to Sandira and they, they are flirting. I think he's just like, she's just so happy for her son right now. So I'm gonna end the um, dinner party here, you guys. I do wanna do some other stuff too. So I, I won, I wanna see uh, where Queen Nea is in her pregnancy. I don't know if we're gonna age up the kids that were born in the last episode. We had Princess Juliet, and we, oh, oh yeah, Princess Elena. I was like, oh my God, I forgot their name. Um, Princess Julia and Princess Elena Willow Creek were born in the last episode. And then we also have Princess Aisha born in the last episode, who is Queen Nea's third daughter. I guy, I am hoping that she has another, I'm hoping that she does not have another daughter. I'm hoping that she has a son at this point. So we'll, we'll get to see. And just because I just want her to have like all of, wait guys, um, why are these houses empty? I'm very good. Wait, hold on. What? Uh, this was Queen Corinne's family's house. Duke Victor and Duchess Lily. And 
This was Lord Derek's family's house. Lord Derek is the one that went on the date with Princess Leilana. Whoa, wait, 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 guys. Guys, they're not in my households. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to Corinne and and try to invite her family over so I can move them back in because I don't know where they went. Guys, her relationship with her families are all gone. Oh my god, where did her family go? She has like a sister and two brothers. I think she knew the other family too, and they're not here. Like if you go to her genealogy, Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, her family's missing. Um, I'm freaking out a little bit, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna go to Princess Leilana and see if she has her relationship still with Lord Derek because they had a romantic relationship. So, and she knew him very well, like they were really good friends. So he should still have a romantic, or a relationship with her, not a romantic relationship with her. But she should still know him. Okay, I'm back at the Sulani royal family. Um, Princess Leilana, do you still have a relationship with Derek? It should be in your... You're- oh my god, you guys, they're literally gone. These families have disappeared. Like, the noble- oh my god, the noble's families have disappeared. Like, I don't even have them saved in my gallery, guys. Oh my god, no, that's Corinne's family. Like, that's her family, you guys. Oh my god, okay, I don't even know what to do. Oh my god, okay, um, I'm gonna end this episode here, because I have to figure out what to do. In the next episode, I guess we're gonna find out what happens with Princess Corinne's family. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed Johan's family. I hope you enjoy or Johan's relationship and, and his newfound love with Sadira. Um, I'm sorry I'm having to end this on a cliffhanger, but I, I have to, because I have to figure this out. I have no idea where her family is, guys. Literally, her family has gone missing, so... Anyway, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button if you did, or hit that thumbs up button if you were excited for the 100th episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!